So you're going to get another two for one. We're going to uh, not only do folders, but we're going to do special character removal in an unorthodox way. For starters, you're going to look in my core set, which will be today's update. It'll be 1118 in the extras folder, USB host folder. I put in uh, something that will stand out right away. It's an older version of HackSheet 2. And I've already extracted this to my computer. And I'm opening up this specific version of HackSheet. Go into settings. I'm going to disable the compress games if possible option. Then I'm going to go to the test folder for my previous video. And I'm going to take a set number of games. We'll do uh, just uh, some of these for now. We'll go to, up to Barkley Shut Up and Jam. We just have to have those Barbie games included. Extract files. Go into my working folder. in the test folder and we're going to copy the artwork to that same directory that I extracted because if you have identically named art as well as the ROMs they will merge together and you'll have the art when you add them via Hashi. So we're going to add the art up to that Barkley. Okay. Now we're going to add these into Hashi. Go into my uh, working directory. And we're going to add all these. And the special characters will be auto-removed because I'm using an older version of Hackshi 2. And the artwork will auto-add for anything that has the same name. So just watch. And I have the artwork for quite a few of these. And you saw in my previous video how you can do the prefix and all that, but I'm not at all concerned with the prefix right now. I'm just going to leave it as is. This is going to be a quick to do folders video. If you want to do the prefixes, watch my previous video. But I'm going to close this so that uh, everything is proper and saves to the desktop files. Then I'm going to go to that directory. I'm going to take all these games I just added. And of course I'm going to be rearranging my um, USB host drive here. So I'm going to take these games and remove these completely for now. You want to have the games folder on your Hashi USB drive completely empty when you do folders. You'll see why in a moment. But I have my backup folder. Copy my games here. Then I'm going into this uh, Danaman linked export, which, which is also my uh, core set. Go into my games SNES folder, and I'm going to cut and paste all these games right to there. And then I'm going to go to my core set from 1, 1, 18 again. <laughs> And I'm going to the Find and Replace program. I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to point to that directory that I just copied them games to. Make sure that's the proper drive right now. See, I saw a different drive now, so I'm going to have to change that. Go into the Danaman Link Export. Games SNES folder. And then I'm going to remove the NES forward slash catchy catchy forward slash from all of the files in there. So it's converting them all to SNES classic format right now. And that's all good. I'm going to open up that version of Hashi on my flash drive. 
and I just extracted it right to the root of the flash drive. Open up just Hashi here. And I'm going to highlight all these games. And I'm going to compress them all. Let them go through that process real quick. And of course you're going to need uh, in a course that as I showed before. You're going to need to install the USB H mods, which would be the USB Clovercon. I would recommend using the Dan the Man font remount because you can do the fonts folder and throw custom fonts in there. You'll need Mad Monkey modules so the system doesn't shut down. And you'll need Tiny 7-Zip so that you can play compressed 7-Zip games. Remember, you do not want to have CD-based systems such as Sega CD, PlayStation 1, 3DO, Sega Saturn, in compressed format. Unless there are specific formats such as eBoot, CHD, and so on. But anyways, those are almost done compressing. And in the format here, in my link export folder here, you want, you'd want to copy over your dump folder, your folder images if you want that. Number of the main things right there. You do not have to flash custom a kernel or any of that garbage. I'm going to my settings. Go into my pages folder structure. I have custom show folders every time. Now here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to highlight all these games, including the original 21. And you do it on the game names themselves. You could hold down uh, the left shift and tap, tap your mouse. You'll highlight them all in blue. And then I'm going to tap any of these. And I have them all highlighted. Now that they're all highlighted, I'm going to hold the left shift on the keyboard and tap synchronize like the games with NES, SNES Mini. Now it's going to do a different thing. It's going to let me browse for my folder. And if you do not have an empty game folder on your flash drive, it's going to say the folder is not empty. That's why I had to do that. So anyways, I'm going into uh, the USB host. Hashi. Not the Dana Man Hashi. It has to be in the actual Hashi games folder. Clicking OK. It has the uh, folders opening up here. Now I'm just going to make a few folders. we we'll just do off. Uh, Folder 1, Folder 2, let's do a few like that, and I'll throw some random art here, doesn't matter what I put there, we'll have an just a hell of a Commodore 64 icon there for one. It doesn't really matter. This is just a test right now anyway. And I'm going to take my unsorted here and separate them into these folders. You could use that left shift key to select them all, or you could use the left control key to do them individually, like this. I mean, it, it's a common qu keyboard shortcut. So I have four folders there, and I'm going to delete the unsorted folder for now. And I have some games in each folder. And I'm just going to uh, do that as is right now. It's going to ask me if I want to make link games. If I click yes, it's going to do shortcuts, symbolic link shortcuts to each of the games. If I click no, it's going to copy the games. What I'm going to do is click yes, so it just does shortcuts, and it's also going to do the transfer really, really fast. Okay. See, it just has to read the files, and then it's done, just like that. Now we have the game structure, and I'm going to plug it in, and we're going to test this out real quick.
okay if we have success we should have our folders I'm going to the back folder right here and I have all my folders the four folders that I made and I removed all the special characters and I compressed the games let's try actor as a test here and I have it running with SNES 9X we're all good to go so there you go you got folders and special character removal in a very unorthodox manner so this will be in today's course set hope this helps you guys out and you guys too there'll be more videos to come